Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about make an animated cartoon of yourself in PowerPoint. Myself, Muhammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, for this particular video, I'll show you two ways that you can follow to make yourself or make your picture as a cartoon. First of all, I'll go to view and I'll click on show desktop icons. And here I have Microsoft presentation available. I'll just open that one. First of all, we need to create another slide. So for that purpose, either you can right click and click on new slide or you can press Ctrl M shortcut key in order to create a new slide. I'll just do that. After that, we need to import our picture. So for that purpose, go to your insert section. And from here, we have an option that says picture. Just click on it and click on this device. Now you can go to the directory where you have your pictures available. I'll just do that. This is the picture that I have selected and I'm going to use this particular picture to convert it into a cartoon. So first of all, let me just remove this one and let's increase the size of this particular picture. Now, let's talk about the first way that we can follow. Okay, first of all, what we need to do, we need to remove the background of this particular image. How can we do that? Well, just click on it and here we have an option that says picture format. Just click on it and from here we have two options to remove the background. Just click on this color button and from here we have set transparent color. Just click on it and click anywhere on the background of your image. What it will do, it will remove the background. But if you see, we have some kind of gradient in the background. That is why this option will not work. But let's just click on it. And here if you see, it has missed a lot of spaces. So now in that type of scenario, we have another option that we can go for and that is remove background. Let me just press Ctrl Z and now I'll click on remove background. And from here what it will do, it will remove the background on its own. But here if you see, it has taken some extra parts along with the background. Now we can get rid of this problem. How? Here we have an option that says make areas to keep. Just click on it and I'll mark the areas that I do not want to have in my background. So now it will ignore all the areas that I'm going to mark. Now if I just leave my mouse and now you can see it has changed it. Let's click on it again. I'll do the same for this section here as well. Now let's do the same for the right side. So I'll just again select the option and I'll mark the area that I want to keep in my picture. So how easy it is. And I think it looks much better now. After that, just click on your picture again. Go to your picture format and here it says correction. Just click on it and go for the option that says sharpens 50%. Just click on it. And now you will see it has implemented an effect that has sharpened this picture. Now right click on this picture, click on cut. Right click on your slide again and go for the paste option that says paste you. Now just click on it again, go to your picture format and repeat that step multiple times. So I'll go again for sharpen 50% and now you can see now it has implemented that effect one more time. Let's just right click on it, click on cut. Let's just paste it one more time. Let me increase its size. Now I'll click on it again, picture format, corrections and go for sharpen 50%. Let's do that one more time. Let's cut it. Let's paste it and let's increase its size. Go to your picture format, corrections and sharpens 50%. Now you can see it looks like a cartoon or some animation. Now for the last step, again go to your picture format and this time go for color option. Here you will see that under the recolor section, we have an option that says black and white 25%. Just go for that and now your picture looks like an animation. So that was the first way that you can follow to make your picture look like an animation. Now I'll show you the second way. First of all, I'll remove this picture from my slide. For the second way, we have to include an add-in into our Microsoft PowerPoint. How can you do that? Well, just click on insert section and click on get add-ins. And from here, search for Pixton. Well, I have already installed it or you can say added it into my PowerPoint. That is why I do not have to do it again. So just click on it and from here you can add it very easily. Now I'll just close this one and if I go to my home section, here I have Pixton available. I'll just click on it, it will open a new section onto my PowerPoint slides. Just click on get started 
and let me resize this section. Now, first of all, you have to pick a type that you want to go for. So just select the one appropriate to your personality or how you look like. If you just scroll down, you will see more and more options. I'll go with this option. After that, it will ask you to select your color tone or your skin tone. So you can go for your liking. I'll go with this one and now it will ask you to select the hairstyle. There are not many, but still you can select one as per your liking. Let's go for the first one. And after that, it will ask you to choose an outfit. You can select any one. There are a lot of available. Let's go for something formal. So I'll just go for this option. And after that, it will ask you to select a pose. So it all depends on the situation in which you want to use your cartoon character. So you have a lot of choices. For example, if you are explaining something into a PowerPoint presentation, you can go for this option. You have a pose in here. You have many kinds of poses. So you can select anyone as per your liking. So first of all, let's go for the simple one. So I'll just go for this option. Let's just click on it and what it will do, it will create a cartoon or animation of your character. And this is how it looks like. Now, how can we use this one into our PowerPoint presentation? Well, let's just create a small animation and let's see how can we use that. But first of all, what I'll do, I'll select some more animation characters from here. I'll select this one and I'll have a new slide in here. So I'll just press Ctrl M and in that I'll have one more. So let's go for this one. So now if you see, we have two of these available. So first of all, I'll just select this one. I'll just press Ctrl X to cut it. Let's go back to previous slide and let's move it slightly. I'll just resize it. I'll move it towards the left side. I'll do the same for this one. And now I'll paste the one from the previous slide. Here it is. Okay, let me resize this one as well. Now I'll go to free pick website and from here you can get free videos, pictures for your animation and for illustration. First of all, I'm going to search for bench in a park. Hit enter and let's see what do we get. So these are different illustrations that we can go for. Let's just go for this one. I'll just click on it and let's just download it. So here we have successfully downloaded it. What I'll do now, I'll just import it into my PowerPoint slide. Here it is and this is how it looks like. Now what I'll do, I'll select all of these. I'll just cut them and I'll paste all of them in here. And this is how it looks like now. Now what we can do, we can readjust all of them. So first of all, I'll go for this one. I'll place it in here and let's resize it. And for this one, let's resize it as well. And let's resize this one. And now I'll place it in front of it. And let's do the same for this one as well. Now, what you can do, you can select all of them now. And let me decrease the size of my presentation. And I'll move all these three towards the left side of my presentation. Why I'm doing so? Well, just wait for it. Let me just adjust my background picture. So for that purpose, I'll drag it towards the left side and I'll do the same on the right side as well. Now, I'll just move it towards this side and let's duplicate this slide. So just go for duplicate slide option and here it is. In this particular slide, I'll move everything on the screen or on the scene. So I'll just select all of them. I'll move them on the right side of my screen. And this is how it looks like. Now, what I need to do now, I need to apply some of the transition on all of them. So first of all, just select your slide and go for your transition section and click on more. So this is how it's going to look like. So you can see how cool this small transition or this small animation is looking. So you can click on this preview button more and more time and it will show you that how it's going to look like. So I'll just click on it one more time. So this is how it looks like. Okay, there are many more things that we can do in terms of having this transition or this animation. For example, if you just go to your home section and here we have a section or option that says select. So just click on this option and from here go to selection pane. And here we have different objects that are available. I want to apply some kind of animation on this character. So I'll just select this character and after that I'll go to animation section. And if you just further expand this one, here you have a lot of options that you can go for. For example, for this character, I'll go for teeter. And after that, for this one, let's just select this first and let's go to animation. Let's just expand it and I'll go for teeter here as well. So just select on this one. After that, let's select this one and let's see what we can do with this one. 
so for that this time i'll go for exit and let's see how does it look like and you can see this is how a small animation looks like now we are good to go and now let's preview it and this is how it's gonna look like so this was the second way that you can follow in order to make an animated cartoon of yourself in powerpoint and that also brings me to the end of this particular video i hope now that you must have liked and loved watching this one and you will surely consider these two ways in order to make animated cartoon of yourself if that is the case do leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon and if you have anything to ask do leave a comment below i'll get back to you as soon as possible till the next video take care